Former Philadelphia District Attorney Seth Williams is sentenced to five years in prison after pleading guilty this summer to accepting a bribe. Today, a judge imposed the maximum penalty in that case. Our Joe Holden was in the courtroom and he joins us live in Center City with the latest. Joe. Jess, there was anger in this courtroom. Seth Williams appeared. A hush went over the room. He mouthed hello to his family and uh, gave a thumbs up at one point to members in the gallery. The judge described this a day of reckoning for a man he called profoundly dishonest. Five years in federal prison for Seth Williams. The disgraced ex-district attorney was sharply criticized. Williams in a tan prison jumpsuit sold himself to the parasites he surrounded himself with, according to Judge Paul Diamond. Do you guys have any comment on the sentencing? No comment, thank you. Williams' family had nothing to say after the 45-minute hearing, only flashing obscene gestures. Why are you giving us the finger, man? Williams pleaded guilty in June to a charge of bribery, admitting he took payouts in exchange for official action. He also admitted to defrauding a nursing home caring for his ill mother. Williams' lawyers had hoped the judge would release him on electronic monitoring today so he could spend time with his mother before he was given a prison assignment. I specifically made that request not for him, but for his mother and for his daughters. Uh, unfortunately, the court denied that request. It was a twist not escaping the judge. He said Williams dumped his mother in that nursing home like a sack of potatoes. And about wanting to see her, the judge said, quote, the English language doesn't have the word to address the outrageousness of this request. Quest. He stole from his mother. Mr. Williams is a criminal. He, is, he did not simply make a mistake. He engaged in these crimes continuously over the course of many, many years, targeting different victims, basically anybody he was in a position to exploit. Williams dabbed his eyes at times during the hearing and chose to have his attorney read a letter from him where he apologized to his family, the DA's office, and the city of Philadelphia. He has a lot of regrets. He's made some mistakes. Uh, he admitted to those mistakes, and he is genuinely sorry for those mistakes. Well, tonight, Seth Williams remains at the federal prison here in Center City. He is in segregated population, meaning he is in a room by himself for 23 hours. At some point in a few weeks, the Bureau of Prisons for the federal government will designate a location where Seth Williams will serve out those five years. He is expected to be incarcerated until the summer of 2022. That is the story live outside Federal Court in Center City. Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Joe, thank you.